Number 11, Stuart Nash. To the Minister of Police, does she believe that having police on the road is a role in road safety, given her recent statement that, quote, there will be fewer police officers on the road? End quote. The Honourable Judith Mr. Collins. Speaker, yes. Good. Supplementary, Supplementary question. Stuart Nash. Is she aware that, according to official statistics, cell phone use contributed to only 0.05 per cent of all fatal or serious injury crashes? And if so, why did she blame men on cell phones for the increased road toll? The Honourable Judith Mr. Collins. Mr Speaker, the facts speak for themselves. For the five years from 2010 to 2015, cell phone offences 70 per cent male. Cell phone related fatal crashes 73 per cent male. Drivers deaths 86 per cent male. Percent at fault 85 per cent male. Alcohol offences 76 per cent male. Illegal street racing, 97% male. The specs speak for themselves. 45%. Supplementary. 45%. Order. She knows you've got a score. Order. Supplementary question, Stuart Nash. Who was right? The minister, when she said that fewer police is not to blame for the increased road toll, or the hard-working Associate Minister of Transport, Craig Foss, when he said that, quote, fewer police officers might be a contributor. <laughs> the Honourable Judith Collins. Well, clearly, Mr Speaker, I'm responsible for my statements, and clearly I agree with them. <laughs> <laughs> Order. Supplementary question, Dennis O'Rourke. To assist the efforts of police for road safety, will she seek the full implementation of the Australasian New Car Assessment Programme Five Star Safety Rating Technologies? And if not, why not? Oh, Mr. The Speaker, I believe, Mr. Speaker, I believe that's a matter for the Minister of Transport or the Associate Minister of Transport, certainly not the Minister of Police. Point of order. Point of order, Dennis O'Rourke. Uh, Mr. Speaker, the police very often advocate for improvements to roads and improvements to motor vehicle technologies and I would therefore expect that the Minister should have a view on this. And, and, and the Minister did express a view on it, that it was more appropriate to be asked of the Minister of Transport. That is her view, obviously. Further supplementary? Point of order. No, no, no. I've ruled on that matter. Mr O'Rourke, I've ruled on that matter. If you want to raise a fresh point of order, I'll hear it. But I'm not going to have you argue with me while I'm in the chair. Does the member further supplementary? Supplementary question, <coughs> Dennis O'Rourke. To assist the efforts of the police for road safety, will she seek safety improvements for regional roads, especially where there are accident black spots? And if not, why not? The Honourable Judith Collins. Well, Mr Speaker, it's certainly an issue that um, ministers and members of parliament talk about quite a lot because I fully agree that there are black spots, that the three big um, issues in road policing and road safety are, um, include engineering, which is what he's talking about, and that's something that we talk about regularly. Quest oh, supplementary question, Stuart Nash. When she says she is not, quote, a big fan of the absolute restrictions on speed, end quote, is that because she thinks men on phones cause more death than speeding? The Honourable Judith Collins. Mr Speaker, because actually I don't agree with giving people speeding tickets for 1K over the speed limit. Because you know what? The way I see it, Mr Speaker... Order. Or even 3Ks over the speed limit. And one of the things I think, Mr Speaker, is when we have that sort of, uh, I'd say, very strict adherence, we can end up with drivers watching the speedometer to the exclusion of the road and considering the road conditions. So, uh, supplementary. Order. Supplementary question, Stuart Nash. <laughs> Isn't, isn't blaming men on cell phones simply a way to hide the fact that a cut in funding for road policing will inevitably end in more deaths on our roads? The Honourable <laughs> Judith Collins. Mr Speaker, it's a 6.7 million dollar, 6.7, sorry, percentage increase in the road policing budget. 
It's in fact $100 million more than the budget that was approved 10 years ago under the previous government. It's a huge increase. But the fact is we also have technology at play here. Police have roles in education and enforcement on the roads. They're not actually all driving the cars. Supplementary question, Stuart Nash. Given her statement that, quote, I'm one of many people who consistently sees people still on mobile phones, whether they're in trucks or vans or cars, end quote, has the police data and research team also had funding cuts and now relies on what the minister sees when out and about? The Honourable Judith Collins. No, Mr Speaker, it's actually just um, noting that I am somebody who gets out and about and I don't sit around an office looking at the mirror like that member does. Order. 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 The last... Order. The last part of that answer does not assist me in doing my job in this House. Question... Question number 12.